If you'd like to bring in video conferencing into your mix with your Elgato Wave 3, this is the most simple solution out there that I recommend to my clients. This will work for Zoom, Google Hangouts, Skype, Microsoft Teams, Slack, uh, video, you name it. It works basically the same for all of them. So follow these principles I'm teaching you right now, and it'll work for whatever your video conferencing software is. Cool? Follow me on this. Are you ready? So what you're going to do is you're going to install your Wavelink software that comes with uh, your microphone for free, of course. You're probably going to have your mic there as one of the inputs. Go to an empty channel and click the plus button. And I recommend if you're adding a video conferencing software or video meetings, select auxiliary one. All right. I'm going to mute my monitor mix so I don't get feedback today. But you can choose whether you want to hear what's happening in the conference call or whether you want your audience to hear or not what's happening in the conference call, and you can adjust those volume levels accordingly using the mixer here, okay? I'll review this again later, but just keep that in mind. What you wanna do with this channel is I, I like renaming it whatever the name of the conferencing software is. So for today's demo, I'm doing Zoom, but you can name it whichever, whatever yours is, Slack, Teams, whatever. Got it? Helps your brain process the information. Great, now that you have your channel and your mixer, you need to Next step, have a conference call up and running to test this. Preferably, you want to have another human being there with you, okay? Just to make sure that the experience is 100%. Cool? Have the conference call up, be on a call, have it be active and engaged. That's your next step. Do that, okay? The reason why you want to do that is because once the call is up and running, it'll show up here in your system mixer so that you can route it accordingly. And it'll the routing will stay forever when you do this, okay? So you only have to set it up one time. How do you get this menu over here that helps you route it? Type in sound in your search bar, and you'll see sound mixer settings right over there, or sound mixer options. When you click that, it'll pull open this menu you see over here. And what you're gonna wanna pick for Zoom or Teams or whatever it is, is gonna be the same no matter what. All right, top option, aux one because that's what we set up in our mixer. Bottom option, Wavelink Stream. Top option, Aux One. Bottom option, Wavelink Stream. You may have multiple versions of your software show up here in the mixer. Just make sure they're all routed the same and you're in good shape. Cool? Great. Once that is done, you're gonna go into your final step for setup. So bring open your video conferencing software of choice and you're gonna have to make a decision about how your audio is gonna be routed there. So what do I mean? So in Zoom, for example, you can do this menu here, and all these softwares have the same menu. You're gonna go into selecting what your input is or your microphone is in the software, and then you're gonna select your speaker. So in 99% of y'all are gonna to wanna to pick microphone in, mic in. Why are you gonna do mic in? Because the people on the conference call are probably just gonna to wanna to hear you, just your audio from your mic mic in for most of you. However, some of you guys may want to have the entire stream mix routed in there. Your music, your playback, your mic, your game audio, whatever it is you're doing. So you can choose Wavelink stream and they'll hear your entire stream mix. Or you may only want to have them hear what's going on in your headphones with your monitor mix and you can choose that. But for 99% of you guys, Mic in will mean they only hear what goes through the mic and nothing else. Got it? That'll work for 99% of you guys. For speaker, I recommend selecting Wavelink Aux 1. This makes it so that your audio isn't gonna go some random location like your headphones, your speakers, and cause feedback loops and problems. Just choose Wavelink Aux 1 and it's the safest option for 99% of you guys. Some of you others may want a custom configuration. Cool, 99% of you guys just send it to Wavelink Aux 1 and that'll let you route everything through your Wavelink software here rather than having to route it in other ways. Makes it more simple. So why do you want another human being on the call with you? Because you're gonna wanna test and make sure all of this is working appropriately and that the experience for the other human is good. All right, so when they're on the call with you here on Zoom, they'll talk and you'll see their levels popping right here in Zoom when they talk. Then you can adjust their volume accordingly using the volume adjustment bars in your own headphone mix over here on the side and you can adjust accordingly for the audience mix. All right, 
So let's review. You have three mixes that you need to consider when you're doing a call with somebody. All right, let me make it simple. The first mix is your own headphones mix, this one right here. You can choose whether you hear it in your headphones or not, and you choose the volume level for that. Check. The next mix you need to consider is what your audience is going to hear on your recording, on your stream, whatever. And that is going to be the stream mix right here. You can mute that or not, and you can adjust that volume level or not. Got it? The third consideration is choosing what people will hear in the video conferencing software itself. Do you want them to hear the entire stream mix, the monitor mix, or just your mic? You have to choose. I recommend mic for 99% of you guys. And you probably just want to have Link Aux 1 as your speaker output so you can control everything using the Wavelink software rather than having to control it in other ways. Got it? Those are the three mixes. Monitor mix, stream mix, and the actual experience in the call itself. Test it with another human. Make sure it's working properly. Make sure you don't have a feedback loop. And make sure everyone's experience is good. Do a test recording. And then you'll be in great shape. And you'll be able to drastically increase your production quality and do new things that others in your space probably don't even know is possible using the Wavelink software, using the Elgato Wave 3. Enjoy. Good luck to all of you. Adios.